Now, two teams of Indian students, from one from Delhi, one from Mumbai, have won awards from the NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge. Uh, there is a, a student uh, team that was sent from the Delhi NCR region, uh, from the Kayat uh, School of Institution, that won the award in the crash and burn category of the annual Human Exploration Rover Challenge. And the other team was from Mumbai, from the Kanakia International School, that has won the Rookie of the Year Award. More than 600 students with 72 teams from around the world participated as uh, NASA and uh, the Human Exploration Rover Challenge celebrated its 30th anniversary as a NASA competition. We have uh, the students from the Mumbai School joining us this morning. We have uh, Divya Chuhan, uh, Pratham uh, Mehta, Ved uh, Kimani, Adya Shetty and Zia uh, Sangavi joining us uh, uh, this morning along with the rest of that team. Uh, congratulations, the Human Exploration Rover Challenge is an annual engineering design competition of NASA. Your team was one of the seven representing India uh, at that challenge, which is highly prestigious in itself. And many congratulations for winning the Rookie of the Award. This is a Rookie of the Year Award, which is an award for overall performance of a newcomer team. How does it feel to get this huge recognition by NASA? Pratham, over to you first. Uh, it was a very overwhelming uh, moment for us when we got selected in October and even winning. I think we, we, are, we, we are proud of the opportunity that we got because of our school and our work. But I think what we're even more proud of is that we made best use of this opportunity and we did our absolute best and we could bag an award once we uh, at the end of the competition. Right. Uh, Devit, it was a nine-month challenge. The design and safety had to be of the standard used by NASA engineers and scientists. What is a, that's completely a huge benchmark with many challenges. Take us through the obstacles uh, that you faced. Was adhering to weight and size your biggest issue? Okay, so uh, it has been a very long transformational journey which lasted nine months. Um, one of our main challenges was firstly learning about engineering. We had to start from the basics. We had to learn everything from the start. It has been a very transformational, very ben beneficial, life-changing journey where we had to learn, relearn everything, uh, working on the DR, the design review, working on the ORR reports, working on other financial aspects. And uh, we had to overcome all these challenges through the help of our teachers, our mentors, Anup Sir, Suchi, our principal Suchi ma'am and Ramita ma'am. Right. Uh, Adya Shetty, the Human Exploration Rover Challenge continues uh, NASA's legacy of providing valuable experiences to the students who are participating. How would you describe this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Um, I think it was completely transformative, as my peers also mentioned. Uh, definitely, we learned a lot, not just about engineering, but we learned a lot from the other teams as well. The sense of camaraderie and friendship that everyone demonstrated at the competition was actually uh, outstanding. There were lots of teams that were willing to help us out when we had questions. And as a rookie team, we felt really welcome there. Uh, one of the teams was even kind enough to lend us a locking pin for our rover, which turned out to be one a very essential component, which we were missing before an excursion. So I think really we uh, what we could take away from that whole experience was the sense of camaraderie that was instilled in the atmosphere then. Right. Uh, way the, you know, uh, your innovation, creativity and hard work is extremely inspiring when it comes to you as a team. What has been your source of inspiration? So uh, my, my source of inspiration, well, it's been our mentor. He's been helping us out tirelessly. Then um, the team itself, there's high expectations from the team you have to deliver. And um, most importantly, our parents, they're, they're, they're the two people that you want to make proud of. That you want to make proud of. Right, absolutely. Uh, teachers and parents, your biggest support system there. Zia, designing a rover to navigate a rigorous terrain requires teamwork. How did you work around, say, difference of opinion to be on the same page as everyone else to get them on the same page? How difficult was that? So uh, I think definitely having a team of 17 people had its own challenges. And this obviously entailed the fact that everyone on our team had different opinions and they had different ideas. But I think the one thing that kept us united was that we all wanted what was best for the team. And so even if it took hours, we'd go through every single idea and uh, every single solution we had to different challenges and make sure that we're coming out with the best one. Often this meant combining different ideas that we had. And uh, I think in turn, that's what one of the things that made our team so efficient. Right. Uh, Adya, the challenge provided the participants a chance to engage with the Artemis program, which includes putting the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. Get us a little insight into the Artemis program. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Artemis is NASA's 21st century lunar exploration program. 
and like you said it's about its goal is to get the first person of color and first woman on the moon south pole uh, i think that is why uh, female representation and women in stem was such a big aspect of the entire competition where even uh, around a third of our team is made up of females uh, we believe that women are no less than men so we believe that it's very important that we get to uh, be uh, some sort of representation for other girls around the world who are interested in stem and we hope that they are inspired to also put their best uh, foot forward and participate in these kinds of competitions fearlessly and confidently uh, and we hope to be a beacon of inspiration for them Absolutely! What uh, an inspiring story there when it comes to this uh, team of seventeen uh, uh, from the Kanakia uh, School in Mumbai. Uh, Wade, over to you. Uh, what would you like to uh, base your future on now that you've won this uh, major, major competition? You've won the Rookie of the Year award, which is an overall performance when it comes to a newcomer team. So, take us to what does a, this Rookie award really mean, and uh, also take us to the hardships that you faced and how did you manage to overcome them? So uh, the Rookie of the Year award is uh, the most points that have been scored um, in the high school and the college category. The rookie that has scored the most points wins the Rookie of the Year award. So the hardships is that from day one itself, having the team, like, we were one of the biggest teams over there. So getting the team united, scheduling meetings, then uh, presentations. Presentation was stressful. Then uh, I would say, but there were eight drivers, eight drivers for contention, and only four drivers had to were, were, were selected. So two guys and two girls. So driver training, me being one of the drivers on day two. So uh, driver training was also pretty difficult. We trained hard, and um, I think that's it. And all this, all this hard work helped us win this award. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, uh, let me uh, take my question to Pratham. Uh, when you talk about obstacles that were faced, I mean, uh, you know, weight management and uh, sticking to a certain kind of weight. Uh, these are very lightweight uh, rovers that we are talking about. Was that quite a challenge? Oh uh, yes, that was definitely quite a challenge, and that is one of the criteria based on which we get points over there. Uh, the volume, the volume constraints, the weight restrictions. So as a rookie team, uh, we 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 didn't know welding when we started this competition. So we experimented with aluminum welding, which is much lighter than mild steel or like steam steel welding. But we weren't as experienced with uh, aluminum welding, which would require secondary alloy for that. So I think that was one of the challenges we faced, where our rover was slightly heavier than we intended it to be. But I think this year was a lot. It, it was it was a really big learning experience for us, and I think we can take this forward. Where uh, where once you, if we participate again, we can you know. Try and better meet these restrictions that NASA has set for us for the narrative and the obstacles that simulate like Martian and Luna surfaces. Right. Uh, many congratulations to the entire team and all the best for many feats in the future as well. The challenge that has provided the participants a chance to engage with the Artemis uh, program. This is one of the Artemis uh, student challenges and it reflects the goals of NASA's Artemis program, which includes landing the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. Thank you so much for joining us here on NTV.